So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Renji from Thalyska Learnings and in this video we'll talk about JSTL function tags. Now we have seen the code tags, right? So we have this C where we, have, we are using code tags, but JSTL also provides you some function as well. Example, if you want to find the length of the string, or maybe you want to check if the current, if the, if a string, I mean if a word is there in this particular string, uh, if maybe you want to uh, check if the particular string is is matching with the end of the string and all the stuff you know we, if you want to if you want to do some uh, if you want to perform some operations we can use inbuilt functions of JSTL so in order to use JSTL function we have to use uh, again the tag lib but this time we'll say okay prefix will set fn and we'll go for uri as http colon slash slash let's ask it for function so this is functions now what are, what are the functions available? So we'll go over one by one. Uh, the first one we'll use is, let's say, maybe length, which is easier. So let's, let's try to find the length of the string. So I will take a string now. Uh, okay, how to assign a string. So let's create a string, we'll say set, where we'll name the string a uh, name as str, and we'll set a value. And then the value would be Naveen Reddy's uh, Naveen Reddy is a Java trainer. Okay, so we have this string here, and I want to I want to find the length of it. So I will print length colon. I want to print the length here, and how do you do that? We'll say uh, we'll use we'll use this uh, percentage. I mean the dollar sign, and then we have to provide angular brackets. In this, you have to mention str. But if you mention str, it will print the string, right? Let's try it out. Let's run this code. Let's see how this goes. Uh, okay, just printing the string. I don't want the string, I want the length. So what we'll do is we'll use a function here. We'll say function colon and the function name is length. And in this length, if you pass str, it will print the length of it. If I say enter now, you can see we got length, which is 29. I don't know. It is 11, uh, 13, 14, 15, maybe it will be 29. 29. If you can count it, it is 29, right? So that's how we use length function. That's one of the function we can use. What other function we have? Uh, let's say I want to. What else we can do? We can use split, uh, we can use split here. I want to split this string based on space here. So whenever you have space, we have to we need to break that. <coughs> I want to split it. So what we can do is let's not print this length now. See when you split, it will create an array, right? Because if you split, instead of having one variable, you will be having an array, which will have Naveen Reddy is a Java trainer. So we'll be having six words. Now to have, to store, to store that six words, again, we can use a for each loop here to print everything. And we'll set, okay. What we'll do here is we'll, first of all, we'll specify the items. Now this items would be, uh, I cannot say str because if I say str, it will be one string, right? I want to break the string. Now, how do you break it? We'll use a function. Okay, so we'll, we'll put that into a function, but that function name would be, so we'll say function. Uh, the function name is split. Okay, so you have to use split, and then you have to pass this str inside a split. But hold on, on which basis you want to split? So if I split with on the basis of space, you can see if I'm specifying comma, a space in single quote, it will split the elements based on their space, right? And then we can store the element somewhere. We can, let's say I want to store the element in S. And now I can print the element. Uh, before printing, I want a break. Now do you print it? It's very simple. We can say a dollar, then a curly brackets and S. And now if I go back there, if I say enter, you can see we got all these words here. It's as simple as that, right? So we can we can have a string which is Navin Reddy is a Java trainer and we can split that with the help of double quote I mean with the help of space and then we can print all the elements. That is that is uh, that is split method. What else we can do? We can split based on the a later. So that we have a here, then we have a here, then we have a and a we have lots of a right. Let's try to do that. Let's let's see if it, if it is working with a. You can see we got with a as well. Okay, that's how you use split method. What else we have? Uh, we can also use another method like or, func uh, or functions like index of. 
Now index of will give you the index of that particular string. Let's say I want to find this index number of is. Now how do we do that? We'll say index colon. Uh, we'll, we'll use a function here. So use to use function again. We have to use this thing. Then we have to use fn colon. The method name is index of. Okay, and you have to pass two things. First, the string which is str. The second one is the the string which you want to pass. I want to pass let's say is. So it will print the index of is. So it should be 11, 12, 13 maybe or 12, 12. It should be 12. Oops, so it will be 12. Yeah, you can see we got 12. So that is the index number of 12. Uh, that is the index number of is. So that is your index of. Uh, we can also use we'll, we can also use contains. Now can we use contains? We'll say uh, is there. We can print is there. Okay, it will only print is there. And because if I want to check if this string contains Java, so I can do that. We can say a dollar. Then you can use a function here. Function colon contains. Okay, and then we can use a function by passing a string, not a zero, but a string. So we can pass a string, the first parameter, and the second parameter would be your okay watch uh, the string itself it say this is do we have java there let's try uh, yes java is there so is that true it is there but if i say does it have jsp let's try uh, you can see false so you can use contains in fact normally we use contains and if condition we can also do that we can say we can also do if here we'll say c colon if uh, in in your code tags we do have if and we can apply test here because when you say test, when you want to check, you apply test. We say equal to, and we can put everything in double quotes here, which will check. And if okay, we have to also we have to also end if. So this is a if block here, and inside we can print. Uh, we can print uh, JSP is there, right? If this matches, will print is there, otherwise it will not print. Okay, we got an error there. Uh, the error is, it should be in single quote now because we are using a double quote there. My bad. Okay, so you can see we are printing nothing because it is not there. But if I print, if I check for Java and if I print Java is there, it will say yes, Java is there, right? So that's how we can use contains function. We have more, some more functions. We can check with ends with if this function ends with or if this string ends with java i mean with trainer then we'll print you are right buddy okay it should end with which it should end with a uh, trainer uh okay it's ends with not ends with ends with and if i say enter uh, you're right buddy but if, if 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 you say java trainer is a java trainer in mumbai and if I run this now, so you can say last word is Mumbai, right? So it is not matching. So you can also check with ends with. Okay, what others we can have? So yeah, so we, the, so we have all these functions. What you can do is you can explore more functions. You can simply say dollar, then curly brackets, fn colon. And if you say, you can see we have lots of methods here. We have join, uh, we have replace with. You know, try it out, try all this, all these combinations. You can also use two uppercase, two lowercase, the same way we are doing this. Example, we can say str and it will it will print in two uppercase. If I run this code, oh, or two lowercase, right? So you can see everything is printed in lowercase here. If I use uppercase, it will print everything in uppercase. If I say enter, you can say we got Navin Reddy's Java Twin in Mumbai. It's dot awesome, right? So the JSTL has so much of power. So that's about function, uh, JSTL functions. If you like this video, please click on the like button and do share with your friends.